story at five. Guilty or innocent, the battle of opinions after a Netflix documentary on Stephen Avery has ignited a war of words. Both sides went head to head in Manitowoc today. We want justice! We got justice! We got justice! It was an emotional event. Roughly 80 people showed up to protest, most asking for justice for Stephen Avery, but a handful say he's right where he belongs. NBC 26's Raquel Lamel has more from Manitowoc tonight. Things got pretty heated out here, although never out of hand, as both sides yelling at each other, trying to get their points across. No DNA! It's a sight members of the Avery family say they're glad to see. Brendan and Steven need this. Um, they've gone so long without it. Kim Ducott and Carla Chase say the national support has been overwhelming, but they're glad it's happening. We're, we're thankful that the story's finally out, the stuff that was shoved out of court. This could have happened to you, this could have happened to any of your family members. That I, I can't happen to me, I have to kill somebody first. No. Two sides to an argument, one side supporting Stephen Avery and Brendan Dassey, calling for a new trial and claiming their innocence. Show them that uh, we're out here fighting for them and that uh, their injustice won't go unnoticed. But others say the protesters don't have all the facts. And I just think it's terrific what happened to that woman and uh, I would hate to see a guy who was responsible for it breathing free air again. If you look at the whole list of evidence, read the confession, there's there's no way he didn't commit the crime. Roughly 80 people showed up at the courthouse, mostly those in favor of a new trial. Now, police held several press conferences throughout the day and they said there were no issues. The protests remained peaceful, although crowds dwindled after just a couple hours in the cold. In Manitowoc, Raquel Amell, NBC 26. The Salvation Army in Manitowoc was out making coffee and hot chocolate to bring to law enforcement. They say they decided to come out after the police chief asked them to, and well, they were there for the police officers, they didn't turn anyone away. Anybody that comes to ask for hot chocolate or coffee, we will serve. We will never turn anyone away. How long you guys going to be out here? Many in the Manitowoc community tell us making a murderer cast the city in a negative light. That's why they say... They don't necessarily agree with either side of this protest, but they wanted to show hospitality to anyone who visited.